and welcome to the final week of Steampunk Month on my vlog. This week, we're going to be looking at how you can steampunkify any outfit. Basically, to have a steampunk costume, you have to have three specific items. And if you add these items to pretty much anything in your wardrobe, you've got a steampunk-tastic outfit going on. First off, you need brass goggles. Second off, you need a utility belt. And lastly, you need a wicked steampunk gun. Pretty much you could add this to anything you own and you'll look like a steampunk uh, diva or a steampunk rogue or a steampunk whatever. I mean, if you wanted to, you could wear it to work. I'm not sure your boss would like that, but you'd look pretty rockin' and steampunk-tastic if you did. When it comes to making your full costume, you kind of have to decide what personality you want to go for. Like I said last weekend, if you took the the quiz that I made, you'll know that there are a few set of stock steampunk characters. Of course, you don't have to fit into those, but it does make costuming easy and fun. I myself wanted to have something that fit with my book, The Spirit Hunters, which is kind of steampunk, kind of Victoriana, and maybe even a little gas lamp in there too. And that meant <clears throat> that I wanted to wed two sets of characters. So the main character, Eleanor, she comes from high society, so she dresses very prim and proper. And then you have the Scalawag ragtag team of spirit hunters. Um, so I wanted to kind of combine those two looks for my own costume. So you'll notice that I have the flat cap, or newsboy cap, or whatever you want to call it. But I also have on a very prim and proper Victorian jacket and lacy gloves. If you head below, um, you'll see that I have a list of links that can maybe give you inspiration for costume ideas as well as some pictures from my own photo shoot taken by the amazing Amanda Plavik. And hopefully these will give you some ideas for how to set up your own steampunk costume. It's great for Halloween, great for parties, and fantastic for steampunk, sci-fi, fantasy conventions, of which there are many, as you may recall. So, stay tuned. Tomorrow we'll be looking at how to make your very own brass goggles. They're not really brass, but they do look steampunk-tastic, don't you think? Easy, cheap. So come back tomorrow and head below to look at some costume ideas. Bye!